Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. And this is my first impressions video of Blood Fest. Not to be confused with Hell Fest. That's scheduled to come out the same year as Blood Fest. Uh, even though they follow essentially the same premise. A group of teens go to a horror theme park uh, attraction carnival. And it turns out the scares are real and they have to survive the night. Uh, when it comes to Blood Fest, I did not know about the movie until the day beforehand. I was looking up films to see the following day, and I saw Blood Fest there, and, and I said, okay, well, it seems interesting, the premise, I'll go check it out. And uh, it was a special screening, so there was uh, a little promo before the movie, an actor movie, there was uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, and it's very obvious that the people behind this movie have a great passion for the horror genre, uh, this is a company called Rooster Teeth. I never heard of them before, but apparently they've been around for 15 years. And this is their third feature film, as well as their first horror uh, movie. And as far as making a movie, it's shot very well. The uh, costumes are great. The performances are great. The writer-director also plays this uh, carnival ringleader. Uh, so his character is phenomenal. It's wonderful. I enjoy every moment of his screen time. So the movie itself is not bad, but I was disappointed by a certain aspect. And I'll hold off what I was disappointed about when I have uh, a full review of Bloodfest along with Hellfest. Uh, since I learned about Hellfest, I figured, okay, I'll go, I'll wait to see that movie and then do a double review uh, comparing Bloodfest to Hellfest and see uh, where one succeeds and one fails in various other things. But for now, with Bloodfest, it's like it's shot so well and they have a good love and it doesn't look cheap. You know, it's a low budget film, but it doesn't look cheap. It's incredibly well done, which is probably why I felt so underwhelmed because they're doing all these other things great, but the they're uh, dropping a ball in some other key places. And they just had done that section uh, and quality as well as other things, I would be highly recommending this movie. But because they dropped the ball, I can't recommend it. And as far as it being a comedy, several people in the audience were laughing. I smiled a few times. I took a few times. But as far as a laugh, I only had a laugh once. So uh, as a comedy, I, I was underwhelmed as well. So if you're familiar with Rooster Teeth, if you want to see a horror comedy, not a horror parody, um, you know, maybe check us out on streaming or DVD or, you know, however it becomes available later on. As far as going to the theater to see it, I can't really recommend it. So in the meantime, uh, I'll leave it at that. And I will say my full review for After I See Hellfest later on this year. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.